Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you four ways that I talked with my AI second brain that completely transformed my productivity and just forced me to take action immediately because it's that easy. I would just press a voice message. What was the meeting about? And I just send it, voice typing. Press one button on my keyboard and I talk. If I press a shortcut, all that information travels to my AI second brain that is going to create a task for me. To confirm you want to schedule the release of the Jarvis Jr. voice mode for December 24th at 2 p.m., correct? Yes, perfect. Both events have been scheduled successfully. The first way is when I'm on a go and I just have my phone. I have an iPhone, so if I press shortcut, it immediately opens my AI second brain. I asked about Eddie, what we talked last time, because all the transcripts when I have meetings with people directly go into my AI second brain. And then it uses vector database to intelligently connect information across notes, contacts, CRM, images, and also just messages that I'm talking with AI second brain. I would just press a voice message and right now it's listening to everything what I say. What was that I last time spoke about with Kron? Uh, what was the meeting about? And I would just normally send it and just carry on with whatever I'm doing. I don't have to go to my notes, Notion database, look for Fireflies document and look for notes. It already is in my AI second brain and it's already connected with all the other information I have about that person. Of course, if you're a native English speaker, you won't have these problems. It heard me saying Kiron, and I'm going to just correct it. Okay, so the last time we discussed Kiron, you were asking to help to prepare an agenda for a coming call, okay? What are the notes from my last meeting with him? Okay, so I got all the notes ready in front of me. So meeting was focused, background, goals, community involvement, create a task for me to follow up with him. So I'm saying him because it has context. So let's see if it's going to create a task using the name. Okay, follow up with Karen due tomorrow. Let's look at my tasks. I refresh scheduled. Yes, follow up with Karen. The second way I voice type. Here on the screen, I also have Telegram. So I place my AI second brain in Telegram because it's just like crazy convenient and easy and for free. All I do is press one button on my keyboard and I talk. Hey, also, could you create a reminder for me to send multi-agent research database to him? Hey, so it transcribes my voice into text message and I can just send it. But this works across everything on your computer from your locally on a computer to websites. With Wouter, we are talking about using AI Second Brain also for our goal tracking, project management. Wouter has a lot of experience with organizational management. How about that we also use AI and provide tools for people to identify their AI in the market and also do the research? Also, Jarvis Jr. can help with researching different aspects. Looks good. And even if I use ums or like I'm slowly talking, it transcribes it like 99% of the time perfect. If I go to LinkedIn and let's say, yeah, Natalia sent me a message. We both did lecture at AI executive course. Hi, Natalia. Lovely meeting. Actually, delete that. Did you see? This is, this is some sort of sorcery magic. Hey, Natalia, lovely meeting you. And then awesome to connect with you. Stay in touch. Perfect. Boom. Send it. You can use to write uh, posts for your social media if you want to just talk and make a post like that. Boom. You can use it in comments. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Whatever. And back to my AI second brain, it created, just by me sending a voice message, it created a task. And here you go. Boom. I have it sent multi-agent research database to Keran. This tool is called Whisperflow. I'm actually using it completely for free and I'm not affiliated with them at all, but it's just absolutely incredible. And their free plan gives you 2000 words per week. Honestly, this voice typing is one of the four ways how I talk to my AI second brain. So I don't really use 2000 words per week. This brings me to the third way. So after I got Whisperflow, 
and it uses OpenAI Whisper model in the background. However, that model is free. When I'm by my computer, I actually don't like to have my phone around me, so it is somewhere else. If I want to send quick voice message and without going to Telegram, having to voice type it and then click send, what I wanted that I can just press a button on my computer, voice talk, then free whisper model is going to transcribe it and send that information via webhook to my AI second brain. So this is what I built. I am using Raycast for shortcuts, like for example, um, screenshots and stuff like that. So I'm going to show it to you slowly because I just opened Raycast on another computer and started recording. And then it was like, yeah, you are on a Mac. If I press a shortcut, it's already recording. So add to my shopping list that I need to buy apples, just like that. And I end that script and all that information travels to my AI second brain that is going to create a task for me. Okay, so it successfully added apples to the shopping list. Good. The way it works and how I built it myself using cursor. If you're interested in more like step-by-step -step instructions, I think I have it under use case playbook. Uh, to the MCPs. Here you go, Raycast to voice message. So here in the community, like I break it down basically step by step how to install Whisper on your computer, what to run, and if you use Raycast and how to send it to make web. But if you go to general, I just want to show you where script. So if you type under extension script, you will have that you can create uh, create script commands. And my script command is this one because I started with tasks and then I worked with AI to write this whole script and everything works, right? In the background, information arrives through webhook. I have ChatGPT module to detect if I wanted to answer in voice or text. I'm about to show it to you as well. And then that travels to my make AI agent, which is connected to my AI second brain database. If you are interested in a concept like AI second brain, you will want to watch this video because I demonstrate how I use second brain. And also I talk about how we structure it, but the setup is less than 10 minutes. And for the fourth way of how to talk to AI second brain, of course, we have to talk about real time voice. And for this one, I actually want to play you a clip where Short connected this brain to real-time voice and we shared that with the community. Hello, how can I help you today? Hey, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I am Jarvis Jr. I assist professionals with managing tasks and calendars. My focus is on efficiency and organization. Nice, how can good. I... Could you check what's on my calendar for um, this week? Please confirm the exact dates you want to check. This check week includes... the 21st until the 27th. Here are your calendar events for this week. 1. Release the new JarvisJr.com module. Date December 24th. Time 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. 2. Christmas Day. Date December 25th. All day event 3. Christmas Day. Date December 26th. Nice. All day... Good, but I think we're missing one thing. So aside from releasing the new Jarvis Jr. module today, could you also plan um, following the other event? that we need to release the voice mode too. To confirm you want to schedule the release of the Jarvis Jr. voice mode for December 24th at 2 p.m., correct? Yes, perfect. Both events have been scheduled successfully. One, release Jarvis Jr. voice mode on December 24th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Two, release the new JarvisJr.com module on December 24th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Is there anything else you need? Not really. Do you want to say hi to the people who are going to be talking to you? Sure. Hello, everyone. I am here to assist you with your tasks and productivity. Looking forward to helping you. Nice. Sounds good. That's enough. Um, all right. Bye-bye. 